I we've been conducting an experiment in physics this afternoon, and we're looking at the potential difference across the wire. And to do this experiment, we'll be using the following apparatus. We have the voltmeter. The voltmeter has, in this case, it has two calibration. Okay, we have 0 to 3 and 3, 0 to 5. So 0 to 3 is used when you have the lower part here. Start from 0 and ends at 3. And then if you connect from 0 to 5, you are going to be having the upper calibration, 0 to 5. So that is the uh, voltmeter. And also, the voltmeter is polar. That means you must connect the positive part of your battery to the positive part of your voltmeter and the negative part to the negative part of your voltmeter. X, it will read backward. Okay, we have the standard resistor. This is a 2 ohm resistor. So this is a standard resistor. Okay, we have a key. Okay. So when you take off this, the key is open, and then when you take it back, the key is closed. Then we have our jockey. We have our jockey. We have a pair of battery, a three volt battery, and then a potentiometer device. Okay. Now, how do we connect this device? Okay. We are going to follow the exact arrangement in this diagram. Now to do this, as I would advise students, is to arrange the different elements in order of occurrence or appearance. First thing, you can see from here that this is the positive part of the battery. So, and this is our battery, this is the positive part, so it should be on this side. Then after that, you have your standard resistor aligning with the negative part of your battery, which should be on this side. And then you have your key, which should be here, okay? And then on this other end, you have your potentiometer wire. And then beneath the potentiometer, you have your uh, the voltmeter. And then you have your jockey. Okay, so this is our arrangement for this uh, connection. It then means that at the end of the day, this part of your battery should align with the positive part of your voltmeter. And then this side should align with the negative part of your voltmeter. So what we ask, why are we having red wire here? Why are we having red knob and then why are we having black knob? Okay, now like I also told you before, like the like the uh, resistor, for example, okay, the potentiometer is non-polar also, but connect it either way. But for this class, let's just reverse it so that we are working with positive, positive, and then negative to negative. So we always see black, we just assume it is uh, negative, while red is a uh, positive. And also, you also observe something, there is uh, something I want us to do to troubleshoot because when you notice that this knob you are seeing here make, make a perfect contact with your wire. In some cases, you observe that if, if, when you connect your wire, you observe that the voltmeter reading, as you move the, the your, um, your jockey from point to point, we see you reading the same value of voltage. So, to ensure that they are, in, uh, they are, they are firmly connected, just try to check the, uh, the variation, okay? When you do that, you observe that, if you observe that it is showing the same voltage, then remove the wire, okay, your, your connecting wire. This is your connecting wire, I did mention it earlier. So these are your connecting wire, okay? So you need the connecting wire to make the circuits, okay? So when you observe that, you are not getting variation in voltage. What you need to do is to remove the wire from the knob and tie it directly to the potentiometer wire and then note the point to calculate for zero error. Okay, so that is uh, for that as far as it's concerned. So what we do, we have to connect the wires. First of all, like I said earlier on, we are going to be focusing on this. Okay, so move like this. That means I should come like this, I'll tag this to this end, then the other end should come to this. Okay, let me use a smaller wire for this experiment. Yep, I think they are all long wires. All right. So I will take this, you can see, I can screw and unscrew. So I will tie this to this end in this order. Ensure a firm connection. If not, your system will not work. This end will not come to this point. Okay, so we'll just keep it there. Let's finish with this 
first part going this way before we move on. So the next, the output now will now be connected to your, let me open the key to this end and then we screw. All right, this is done. Then we'll come here, do the same thing for the key. Okay, you can screw and unscrew. All right. Then take another wire. And then come to this. Let's just try for the first time to see if this wire we have, this knob will have a connection with the wire to verify what I just said earlier on. Now we are done with this side, we come to this other end and then we take another wire. Okay, so it comes to the first part of the battery. Okay, and then the other part comes to this end. So then what we do next now is to connect this to our voltmeter, okay? So you can see from here, this wire comes from here and then enters the voltmeter to the, post, to the negative side because this wire, this one is the negative part of the battery, so we're going to run from here to this place and then to enter the negative part of the battery, the voltmeter, sorry. So what we do is that I have to unscrew this now, yes and then merge them together to form a parallel connection. You can see this is a parallel connection. This is running parallel to the wire, so that's a parallel connection. So I will... So this side will now come to here now, this one. So place it here. All right. Then lastly, we have the one that move from. Here, I see I'm using zero to five. Because that's why I use 0 to 3 because this is a 3 volt battery, so you don't expect a voltage that is more than 3 volts. So let's use 0 to 3. So we'll connect it from here. So I'm not making use of 0 to 5. That means at the end of the day, I want to be reading the lower part of your voltmeter. Okay? So we connect in this order. Then this part goes to your jockey. You can see you have a screw, you can screw and then screw. Just put your wire. Alright. Like I did say, we are going to be troubleshooting. Let's see. Okay. I mean, there's an issue with our connection. Let's go back and see if we maintain a tight connection in the end. Okay. Okay, so we have a connection. All right. So we have been able to, let me take off the back key. All right, 
Okay, let's see how this will turn out. Okay, so we we'll start from this end of the connection. All right, now, uh, first of all, although we are starting from, you can see from here now, we're having 99, it's placed at 0.99. Yes, 0.99. That means we are reading to this side. So that means uh, our 10 should now be at 89. Yes, our 10 should be at 89. Then our 20 should be at 79, like that. Then to get them in intervals of 10. So first of all, if you look at the instruction here, you have to measure our distance, okay, from point. Okay, so that you don't get confused. Maybe we'll reverse the potential meter. So start from the exact position of 10, 20, 30, 40. So you don't get confused. So I'll just reverse this. I'll take this back. So I'll tie it to point one here. So that point eleven becomes our ten. All right. Okay, so from the instruction, let's just read the instruction. Connect the circuit as shown in the diagram above. Choose the key, close the key, and use the jockey to make connection with the potentiometer wire, such that D is equal to 10 centimeters. That is, we are measuring from this side to this end. So that's where our D will be changing from. So now in this case, this wire is tied at the point of a 1, 1.00. So to make 10 centimeters according to this instruction, it then means that we have to move to 11 because this is already 1, so 11 will make, us make 10. So I'll just go to 10, 11, and then I make my connection. Okay, now the battery, I have to ensure that it's tightly done. You can see now we're making use of the down part. So from here, let me also explain this first of all. On this, you can see first of all, we have a 0, 0. So we have 10 stripes or 10 lines before 1. So that means each line was 0 0.1, another one is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and so on and so on. For every measured value, you must take it to what? Two decimal places. So we'll start with this uh, measurement at 10 centimeters. Okay. So we'll come here and then we'll make a connection. The battery close to me. So I'll go to point 11. Okay. And then. Don't drag the potential meter. The jockey, please, it is a, one of the precautions so you don't end up having the wrong results. So you can see from the reading here, it's showing 0 0.2. Okay, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. That means at, at 10 cm, you have 0 0.2. So you note that down. Okay, so at 10 cm, you have a voltage of 0 0.2. To zero in this case now 0 0.2 here, but you must go to go two decimal places. It was 0 0.0, 0 0.20. 0. So that's for 10 centimeter. They will now go to the next one, which is what 20 centimeter. Now, which will we go to that? We will work at 21. So at 21, we'll place it. We'll take our reading. Okay, you can see now. It has changed from a 0 0.2 now to 0 0.35. So it's between 3 and the fourth line. So 0 0.35. So we we'll note our value. Okay. 0 0.35. 0 0.35. And the next one will now go to 0.30 centimeter. That means in this case now 31. So at 0.31, you notice something. Okay. It is now what? At exactly 0 0.5, yes, 0 
0 0.5. So upon 30 is 0 0.50. Okay, then upon 40, upon 40, which is 41 in this case now. Okay, we are now seeing 0 0.7. Yes, 0 0.7 approximately. 0 0.7. So we'll note that. 0 0.70. Then at point 50, which is 51. Also notice something that is quite different from that of 40. You can see we're not having what, 0 0.8. 0 0.80. We have 0 0.80. And then lastly, at point 60. Okay, in this case, it was 61. So we're going to have this. So you can see we are having, but probably one, yeah, 1, yeah, 1.00. Okay, 1.00 approximately. So we have 1.00. Now, in all of these, you notice know something that as you increase the length of the potentiometer wire, the voltage across the potentiometer wire was what increasing, which means our potential difference increases with increase in the length of the potentiometer wire, which is exactly probably what we are going to be discussing, the relationship between the length of the wire and uh, the voltage. So in our next uh, episode, we'll be looking at how we can use this value to plot our graph. Thank you very much for listening.